something and then also believe the exact opposite. Um, so like what, I mean, just, just give you my view very quickly. Like I, I think like the reason why there's no action is because um, we're not acting as if like this is like a major threat to survival of, of like life on the planet. So if we sort of scale up the direct action as other um, successful movements in the past have done, like the suffragettes, the abolitionists, civil rights movements, to really shove it in their faces that like we care about this stuff. Yeah, we're not gonna yeah. <laughs> you know, we're not gonna let you destroy the planet and take actions that affect us yeah. and our families and future generations. Um you don't know, stand by and do nothing to say like what 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 do you think that you know forcing them to admit that there is this problem is, is actually yeah I agree it's an excellent initiative but what what are you hoping that it's actually gonna achieve? Yeah, um, okay, so quick response to that. But with, it's like a civil war. I think you can you can view it um, as a civil war. So the government itself is completely split. I mean, it, even in the Conservative Party, there are people who are act, absolutely get it about climate change and are genuinely trying to do something about it. So, and, and it's the same in industry, you know, you've got the fossil fuel companies that are keeping the status quo going as fast and as hard and as dirty as they can. Uh, and there are others that are really beginning to speak out and say, you know what, this makes no sense at all because we will have no markets, we will have no customers, you know, it's not good business if you end up killing your customers. So everywhere you look, and I really experience this running a renewable energy company, it's a civil war, and like all civil wars, there are people under the same roof who are in, on different sides. Every civil war in history is like that. So that's how I see it. And so there's no magic bullet, and the direct and non-violent direct action is vital. The Occupy uh, movement is vital. I mean, we saw this in the um, in the financial crisis, the way it was taken. But equally, kind of elites, um, anoraks uh, who sort of study ex study the financial markets and do Excel spreadsheets, you know, we've got a role to play as well. There's, there's no one way of doing this. We, you need multiple fronts. If you're in a civil war, you need, you, you need all sorts of different people uh, fighting on the same side in different ways. That's what I mean. Okay, very much. Um, any more questions? We'll try not to make it too long because the condition's not very favourable. But yeah, go ahead. Right. So shout out, shout out. That's a question I had. Given the fact that the economy has failed them, if we were serious about this company, do you see the big energy companies like Germany be having a duplicate that's viable or more? No, they've got a choice. They can go out of business or they can change their business. It's really simple. And one of the things to be aware of, I didn't talk about this, is that actually in the face of the carbon tracker reports, financial institutions have already started pulling their money out of fossil fuels. So Storebrand, which is Norway's biggest insurance company, uh, read our report and pulled their money out of 19 coal and tar sands. So this is powerful, you know, you can, you can force that through civil action and, uh, and non-violent direct action if you get it right, well, that's a good lever, but, but equally, you know, these elite arguments, they're basically saying there is risk, and we don't like that risk, and we're acting ahead of regulation or, or policy. So very exciting, and uh, more strength, all your arms, I hope we... We make great progress between now and December 2015 when it's really going to be crunch time in Paris. Do you, do you think that we ought to be, in a sense, uh, people are involved with movements like Occupy ought to be uh, touting for the city itself and uh, banks and so on in, in one way or another? Well, you already are. I mean, I spoke at the Penn you know, the, the University and that was very powerful. And particularly in America, Occupy in America, um, the way that turned around, you, you know all this, the opinion polls, um, uh, and you know, people thought it was just a rabble, and even Republicans had to but change This was a little while ago, and now the focus is more yeah. on sort of front end and that kind of thing, where a lot of people have been out of Balkan and yeah, beat it. Yeah. But um, do you think we ought to not forget you know, what's happening in the city? And that's, I mean, today we had a little event organised, but there might be more sort of uh, slightly spikier things, let's say, that we might be able to do. Yes, no, I'm a big advocate of non-violent direct action. I, I worked at Greenpeace for six years. Okay, thanks. Uh, George, last one.